Hello and welcome to this video tutorial from ComputerGaga.com. In this video, we will look at how you can prevent a user from inserting or deleting columns on a worksheet. So in this example, I have a list of stock on this stock data sheet. And on the other sheet, stock lookup, I have a couple of VLOOKUPs in cells B2 and C2 return information about a product on that sheet. They are returning information for the unit price and units in stock columns known as columns 4 and 5. For them to continue to work in the future, I want to prevent users being able to insert or delete columns from this list. For example, I can see that it's £9.20 for a unit price, 25 units in stock. If somebody was to insert a column, for example, Going back to these VLOOKUPs, they now stop working. It is not returning the price anymore. It's returning the quantity, I think that is. What is that? That's the quantity per unit column. And it's not returning the units in stock. That is now the price. So inserting columns has ruined my VLOOKUPs. So I'm going to delete that column. And we look at preventing people being able to do that. Now to do this, we're going to use worksheet protection. A really useful feature of Excel to ensure that your formulas and your macros that continue to work because they may rely on this sort of information to work. So I want to prevent that from happening. Worksheet protection is on the review tab, but before I protect this sheet, I will need to unlock the cells on this sheet. And in this example, I'm going to unlock them all. But bear this in mind, as you are bound to want something a little bit different on your own sheets. Reason for this, I mean, if I was to hit protect sheets right now and click OK, nobody can change anything. Because there's a property called locked. Apply to all the cells of a sheet by default, so it becomes read only. I'm going to unprotect that sheet. I'm going to click the square in the top left of my sheet to select all the cells of the entire sheet and I'm going to use my control 1 keyboard shortcut. Control 1 just brings up the format cells dialog box. I'm sure you have your own way of getting into this popular dialog box so feel free to do it or adopt the control 1 shortcut if you did not know that before. The protection tab on the end I will uncheck the locked box and click OK. Now it says locking cells has no effect until you protect the sheet. So now when I click OK, if I protect this sheet, people will be allowed to touch any cell. Nothing is locked. Typically, you will want to lock especially the cells with formulas in. Just bear that in mind with your own stuff. You probably don't want to unlock everything. In this example, I have... All I want to concentrate on is I don't want people inserting or deleting columns. So I'm going to go back to protect sheet. I'm not going to bother with a password as it is optional. Obviously to protect it fully I should do. But I'm imagining in this example that I just want to stop accidents. You know people forgetting themselves and insert a column. You know this will prevent them. Um, a kind of lightweight solution but will do the job that we need. I'm more interested in the checkboxes below where I can see insert columns and I can see delete columns. I want to make sure that they are not checked, which is their current state of play, so I'm happy with that. But there are a few things I do want my users to be able to do. I do want them to add to format cells, that's important. Uh, I have a certain formatting on these cells, these blue borders, etc., and I want to maintain that. Uh, I want them to be able to insert rows. They might not insert a row in the middle of this list for some reason. Yeah, not essential, but I want them to be able to do that. Uh, I might need a hyperlink at some point in the future. They might want to link to where that product is on their web page. Uh, and sorting and filtering and pivot tables. Let's get them into play. Now, it's a large stock list, and there's a fair chance they want to sort, probably definitely, to a lesser extent, filtering and lesser extent pivot tables in this list. It's not that big, but they may need that kind of behavior. So let's turn that stuff on. 
and I'm going to click OK. Now if you did enter a password you will be asked to repeat it. I did not so it's now protected. I can see my review button says unprotect sheet. And I can also see on my home tab that all my formatting tools are available because I said that I would like them to format cells. My insert and delete buttons on the home tab are ghosted out. Now if I click the drop down arrow for insert I can see that I can insert a row. I said it's okay for a user to insert a row but I cannot insert a column and indeed if I right mouse click on a column header I will not be able to insert a column or indeed delete a column. So this is the behaviour I wanted. Nobody can now insert or remove columns ensuring you know, the, uh, the efficiency of my my VLOOKUP, it will continue to work. They're not going to be able to break it in that behavior anymore. Now, sure, I didn't put a password, so they could go to review, unprotect the sheet, and then they can. But that's a very intentional way around things. So, you know, and there may be the possibility in the future, but I, w I don't want it to be accidentally happening. Somebody's got to really know that they, you know, that's a necessary thing for it to happen. So I'm opting against the password. Let me just protect that again. See it remembers your previous selections. And I'll click OK. And that is how we can prevent users from inserting uh, or deleting columns on a worksheet. I hope you find this tutorial useful. Please check out some of our other tips and tricks at computergaga.com.